going for a suggestion. Honestly, that I feel like we need to give a prize for Who said Crazy Cat? That's very good. Up here in the red? Whoever it is, it's voiced by Tress McNeil. Tress McNeil. <laughs> Alright, uh, the Crazy Cat Lady suggestion. Oh, yeah. um, we are going to... Yeah, home or mine? Mine way. Alright, here comes the anarchy. <laughs> Someone come and collect this prize for me to give to. Here we go. Can I just interject something too? Alright, alright. One more gets a prize. It's always good when we ask them all at the exact same time. <laughs> you know what? The guy said the guy said Ralph he wants it the most. Say that again, who is it? Ralph! Okay, right there. Is that the ash catcher right there? Okay, you just caught an original drawing by Matt Grady. It's coming to you. Alright. These were done especially for Karen. Yes, Matt is in his bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding from whatever variant we are cooking up in this room yeah. right now. I just wanted to say on these things, there's a behind the scenes thing. It says, please be aware, many members of your audience may be under 18 years old. Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> told me I wasn't allowed to swear. Thank you. Thank you for opening that house. Now find it by the loose guys. <laughs> all these years have held it in. Mickey has big ears. He's listening. <laughs> I mean, at this, if you guys have, there's been a casual ribbing of Disney throughout the history. <laughs> of, was, did any Disney executive ever say like, like, hey, uh, I'm going tone it down, or is it just not spoken of? Nope. Well, that sounds like permission to ratchet it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've been pretty cool. They've been, they, we've been embraced with open arms by the Disney, with Winnie the Pooh and Goofy and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we've been personally hugged by each, each member of two. They, they all have a sense of humor. We did once show Goofy going into the gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on, that's on Disney Plus. <laughs> Which, which episode had Goofy going to the gas chamber? It was our uh, Valentine's Day show. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? It, 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 it wasn't the like the, the Holocaust gas chamber. It was the, the like animal murder gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Please elaborate. <laughs> that makes it better, right? Let us clarify exactly how Goofy was murdered on the Simpsons. If, the, if you take away nothing else. All right, well, maybe we're, maybe we're off Disney Plus now. I, <laughs> I should mention at this point we're doing the new Disney Plus short about the Disney princes, the male princes. And <clears throat> one lyric is, we're predictable, dolls, lin linen, we love to kiss unconscious women. <laughs> I mean, they did just put Deadpool on Disney Plus, so. <laughs> it's an expansive brand. It is. If they, if they stop expanding, they have to stop buying, so we can say fuck in Deadpool and uh, that dead, dead movie all we, all we want up here. Um, this is a question that I'm sure you don't want me to ask, but I have to ask it. The internet demanded it. Um, who do you ship on The Simpsons? <laughs> We're ship. That's like our... Are there any characters in Springfield that you always thought it? They're destined sexually, oh. romantically. I always wanted these two I, to get together. I'm obsessed with Homer. I am like... You're shipping Homer. I'm shipping Homer. Oh, wait, shipping Homer with yourself? Yes. Oh, oh, you mean with yourself? I'm shipping it. But I'm the one who's in the show with Homer. Yeah. Which, who's a dream ship? Uh, uh, we've been putting Otto and Julio together in the background a lot lately. What's that? What's that? Otto and Julio have been together a lot lately on the show. I don't know, I don't know why, but we just we've latched on to it. So, all for applause. <laughs> There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. is uh, I feel like it's, it's interesting. I remember watching The Simpsons as a kid, and I remember the episode of Homer Loves, Homer Loves Mindy, and I remember thinking, God, they're so good for each other. <laughs> I love this family, but maybe Homer and Mindy are an OTP power couple forever, but the most recent episode of The Simpsons nominated for an Emmy, uh, congratulations, pixelated and afraid. That, that I, disabused me of any sense that Homer and Marge are not soulmates. It's such a beautiful episode. Like, the, 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 the way in which they just casually put up with and enjoy each other's quirks is like a, 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 something to aspire to. Carolyn, what was your passion for that? I, I've always felt from the, the very first 
you know, when they get together in the way we want, so that what Marge sees when Homer tells, him, tells her how much he loves her, she sees right away that this is 